Anderson Cooper 360, weeknights at 8 and 10 on CNN. How confident are you that this Italian court will not overturn your client's acquittal? Well, we're not in the business of prejudging any court's ruling, but I think you have to understand what the legal landscape is and the procedural posture we're actually in. The appellate court jury uh, had the authority and the jurisdiction to review whether or not the trial court committed any legal error. But they also had the authority and the jurisdiction to reevaluate the facts and determine what the true facts were. And when they did that, they acted with their, within their authority when they reopened, reinvestigated, reevaluated, and ultimately re redetermined what the true facts were. And when they did that, whether it was regard to prosecution witness testimony, physical evidence, or prosecution forensic conclusions, they ultimately determined that either it was absent non-existent, inaccurate, unreliable, or simply wrong. And that's why they reversed. And that's why we're here today. So all the, su the Supreme Court has a much narrower scope of review. All they're supposed to do is to look and see whether or not the appellate court jury acted within its jurisdiction and according to the proper rules. It does not relitigate or it does not reconsider or reevaluate or reopen the facts. And that's why everyone remains reasonably hopeful without prejudging what they will do. Okay, I got that. Now, if, is, is, but is there any way that there could be any ruling that would require Amanda Knox to return to Italy? Well, you know, once again, we have to look at, you know, what's in uh, on the legal landscape. Right now, we only have to await what the Supreme Court will do. We're hopeful that they'll just affirm the, the appellate court. Now, to the extent they would not, then it would depend on what their directions are. If they remanded the case for further hearings, that may or may not require Amanda's appearance. Most likely, it does not. And then if another trial resumed, most likely it does not require Amanda's appearance. Whether she would return for some specific reason or not is not on the legal landscape. It's not even in the legal telescope. So all this discussion really about extradition is not nearly in play. And the other thing you should know that, you know, while we are hopeful that they will simply affirm this prior wrongful conviction, you know, there is nothing that would lead anyone to believe in any of the evidence that there would be any other verdict but one of not guilt. Because so, there simply is an absence of evidence in this case. 